I wouldn't consider myself, you know, someone who's like studied with a, a teacher. I think I kind of more made use of the, 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 the forum of like the classroom and the model to practice what I was already kind of intensely into in my own mind, but I wasn't really formally trained. are just so like native to your mental landscape that you can't even sort of objectify why it's that thing, that medium over and above um, anything else you know um, it, I just naturally gravitated towards that it wasn't even there wasn't even a question in my mind that that was how I wanted to express myself I'm unusual on these days of, you know, like everybody seems to have like a concept or a particular a novel idea that they're, they're trying to express through their work. But my work isn't like that at all. I see myself very much as a traditionalist. For me, it's not so much what I'm painting, but the state of mind that I'm in when I'm painting and how I approach the work. It's, it's like, it's the rendering and the economy of, of brushstroke and uh, the simplicity that I'm after, really. There's something in the act of creation, you know, that, that, that reflects in the final artwork. And uh, whether you're a sculptor or a painter or you make videos or whatever, it's got to do with what's in your mind and your heart while you're working. And that's what comes through. It's your, your vision of what you're seeing is what comes through. When I start on a painting, it's like a, a fever until it's done. You know, I just, I just work and work and work. Sometimes I can work for like eight or nine hours straight, you know, just until it's finished. And then obviously the practice is always like, once it's done for me, it's, it's done. And I don't like to touch it again, you know? Because I find that, that it, it, it takes something away from the spontaneity. If I'm tackling like a very large piece of work, I don't like it when the paint dries and it starts to become kind of tight and inhibiting to me. I like things to stay fluid for a long time, you know, so I can work the entire surface at once. To me, it's like, it's not melancholy at all. I mean, I suppose it's just what strikes one as beautiful. Maybe it's like so native to my mental landscape that I don't really perceive that as melancholic, but I am, I am like a, a pretty sort of dark person. <laughs> I like very dark, moody things. Like I'd very much rather paint like a, an overcast sky than a sunny day, you know? So that's just my aesthetic and in terms of investigating the human condition. I mean, that's not what I'm setting out to do. It's something more primary than I'm trying to do in terms of my work. Like, I'm a painter's painter. You know, like, I'm, I'm more thinking in terms of light and color. My concepts are more pre-verbal, but then sometimes you know, something will strike me. I'll see something or be in a certain state of mind, and then there will be a concept as well in my work, but you know, that happens or it doesn't happen. It's not something that I'm like setting out to do necessarily. What would I like to be remembered for? Uh, just being dedicated and passionate, I suppose. You know, just being passionate about what I do. If you can inspire other people also just to like, you know, be creatively expressing themselves and be like totally into it and be passionate about what they do, then yeah, that's, <laughs> that's enough.